everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever favorites video, which I'm very excited about. Favorites videos are probably one of my favorite videos to watch because I just get to learn about other people's favorites and just discover new things from other people. It's kind of like just learning something new every day or every month, I should say, because favorite videos are monthly. I'm going to try to do mine monthly. Sometimes I might not do it monthly. I might skip a month or only do it for a season. Right now I have a ton of favorites because I've been trying out a couple different things and some of these favorites are ones that you will be seeing for the first time since it is a favorites video and my first favorites video. I'm gonna start off with beauty and then get into the more fashion random stuff. My first beauty item is the Cargill Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. I love this foundation. I've been using it for about two years now and I love it. It's hands down my favorite foundation at the moment. I'm actually out of it. I need to pick up a new foundation and everything, but I love this. It's very light on your skin. It lasts a long time. It keeps you semi-matte. If you need a new foundation, definitely pick this one up because it's amazing. My next favorite goes with that. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I love this powder. It just looks like this when you open it up and it also has this little flap and you get a little applicator and a mirror right there. And I love this. I was a big fan of the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is in the shade Translucent, shade 100. I decided to switch over to this because Maybelline powders were my first love and they were the first powders I ever used in the drugstore. So I thought I would give this a try and I really love it. I think it keeps me very mad. I can add it on in the middle of the day if I'm getting a little shiny. I can put this in my purse if I wanted to. Very compact, which I did not like about the Rimmel one. I kind of want to try the foundation for this now because I love this so much. If you need a powder, definitely check this one out. Next, I have a concealer, and this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in Light. And this is what it looks like. I love this. It has a Dofa applicator, which is very nice for when you want to apply concealer. And it's just very light feeling, but thick under the eyes. I use this for under my eyes, just to cover up my dark circles. And this is probably my favorite concealer I've ever used in the drugstore. I love this. So definitely if you need a new concealer, just pick this one up because it's amazing. Next I have a mascara and this is a sample size. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this. This. And the brush is actually very small. It looks like this. I think this is very lengthening and a little bit thickening, but mostly lengthening. It makes your lashes so long. I got on my eyelashes today and I love it. I used up another Tarte mascara and I love that one, but when I ran out of that one, I was kind of like, Ugh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one because the wand is so much smaller, but I ended up loving it. it. Separates my lashes, it doesn't clump them together. It makes them very thick, but they also are one by one lashes. But I ended up loving this one and I've been using it pretty much every day. So yes, I love this mascara. Next, I have a couple lip products. The first two can go interchangeably. The first one is the EOS Lip Balm. This is in the flavor Vanilla Mint. I love EOS. They are so nice. They just look like this in the inside and I love this one. I have the one called Sweet Mint too, but I actually don't like that. I actually prefer this over that. And I've actually considered getting about a ton of these because I really love it and I hope they make it permanent and get just get rid of Sweet Mint. Bye Sweet Mint. I have another lip balm. This is the Soft Lips in a Cube, which is actually competing with EOS, but I just love them both. And it looks like this, just like EOS, except for it's in a cube form. And I love this. This is in Vanilla Bean, which is a flavor the US doesn't have and I just love it. It keeps my lips very soft, almost silky feeling and I love it. It's great for under lipstick or just any lip product you want to put on. Okay next I have a lip balm and this is the Benna Bomb by Benefit. I love these. I have all of them. I just love them so much. They are just so amazing. This one is just the Benetint one and it looks like this but when you put on your lips, it looks like a reddish pink, and I love it. It just gives off the most natural color, and it's just so moisturizing. 
If you haven't tried this out, definitely go try it out. It is worth the money. Okay, my last lip product is this lipstick from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Sensational Lip Line in the color Power Peony. I love this color. It's just this very beautiful pink color I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I just think it's very pretty. I will splotch it for you. That's what it looks like. I think it's very pretty and it's just very natural, but these lipsticks are very creamy and they stay on your lips pretty well. They're just sheer, but not like too sheer where you don't look like you have color on. They are perfect for summer and just any season where you just want a little bit of color. I love these and I'm definitely going to be wearing this um, all throughout summer, maybe a little bit into the fall. I'm definitely picking up more of these because this is amazing. I love it. So my last beauty product is an eyeshadow palette. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is what it looks like. It basically looks like a chocolate bar and I I love this. The colors are beautiful. The colors are beautiful. They are just very natural to smoky and just just very neutral. And I love this because there are there are 14 colors to choose from, and two of the highlights are the biggest colors in the palette because I guess they assumed we'd be highlighting a lot. This creates so many looks. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now, and you can also get a more smoky look or just a natural look, which I love. It's very universal. So definitely purchase this. It's worth the money. Okay, next I have one fashion item, which is a pair of shoes. So these are my shoes. I love these. I wear them pretty much every day because I'm the kind of person that needs a comfortable pair of shoes. And I'm not going to be wearing sneakers all the time because I just don't want to wear sneakers all the time. So I love these. These are my shoes. They are just these, these gladiator looking sandals. And then they have the zippers right here. And then they obviously have backs and I love it. But I love these. They're very comfortable for how flat they are and they're just really nice shoes. So definitely go check out Target Shoes because they have amazing shoes. Now I'm going to talk about my favorite songs at the moment. I have I have two favorite songs. The first one is Sparks by Hilary Duff. You wouldn't have thought that Hilary Duff would have music out right now, right? She does. She has a single out and it's amazing. It's definitely my jam. It's definitely a song I listen to on the daily basis. It's just such a fun song. So definitely check it out. TV shows. So this is where I get a little bit crazy because I love TV. I just love being entertained by TV. I saved the best for last. Me talking about my favorite TV shows. My first favorite show of the month is Revenge. This show ended sadly but ended with a bang with a holy oh my god what the heck just happened. I love this. Yeah that's how it ended. Um I love that show. It, I've been watching it since it premiered. I watched it to the end. I watched it all the time. Yes. And I'll be watching it when it goes back on Netflix with all four seasons watching it over and over again. I'm that kind of person. So if you don't know what Revenge is, it's this show about a young girl in her, in about in her 20s, mid 20s I'd say. And she lost her father when she was a young girl and so she's avenging his death trying to get revenge on the people who wronged him and made her life more difficult and just awful and she does all this badass stuff that you wish you were her because she is badass and I just love her. The, the character's name is Emily Thorne who is really Amanda Clark and then you through the four seasons of the show you just see everything unravel. It first unravels very slow in the first two seasons but by season three it, all I'm gonna say is Amanda and Foley what the heck just happened and oh my god I just love the ending. I'm not gonna spoil it. All I'm gonna Says Jack and Amanda wherever I live. Okay, so next favorite show is Grey's Anatomy. I love Grey's Anatomy. I've been watching it since I want to say season eight. I just love it, and I went back and watched from season one up to season eight. I love it. Grey's Anatomy is, I'm sure you're assuming, is a medical drama about these doctors who they start out as interns in season one and then by season they start as interns and then they become residents and then they eventually become tending surgeons by season nine and it's just an amazing show 
a lot goes down and holy crap this season and oh my god the season this season for Grey's Anatomy holy what had just happened I don't even know but yeah I love that show so my next favorite show is SVU now everybody's like SVU. Some people like it, some people don't, but you gotta be into the whole action, police procedural, just drama, drama thing. And I love SVU because it gives off a great message. Um, they do so much with the show. It's not like they're preaching at all. Um, they get stories out there that should be out there and they're educating people about domestic violence and rape and everything and I think that's just amazing. The cast is phenomenal. Hello Mariska. Yes, can we say that? This season though, the season finale, the way it ended, I was just like, okay, okay. This is not how you want to end for me. You can't do this. You can't. And then it ended. But at least we get somewhat of a happy ending. So if you've never seen SBU, it's basically a police procedural show about detectives in the special victims unit in New York City and they basically just um, have cases about rape, domestic violence, some child um, abuse stuff cases, just all sorts of cases involving the special victims unit and in the beginning of the seasons, they're on season 16 right now, we just ended season 16. First 12 seasons you have Elliot and Olivia and then you have the other side detectives like Finn, um, Munch and everybody and then you have Amaro thrown into the mix, Rollins thrown into the mix at season 13 and then this season we have, we have Detective Creasy come in and just be the new B now so I just really love it and Amaro that's all I have to say just amazing and they did two crossovers within this year which is amazing I love the crossovers because they just it's just all my favorite people in three shows all in one universe amazing I check that out if you haven't already um okay two more shows and these shows kind of intertwine because they cross over all the time, which I love. I love crossovers. I just love it. I just love it. Okay, so the first one is Chicago PD, and Chicago PD is yet another police procedural show, but I love it because it's so dramatic. You get some action in there, we get the love in there somehow, some way. This show is about the intelligence unit out of Chicago, and they kind of operate in their own way. It's kind of like they always say in the show, 10% of the cops do the most, most work than the other 90% or something like that, and it's just very true and they do and the intelligence unit surrounds gangs and drugs and everything it's so entertaining and then we have our couples in the show Linstead and Berzek. I love Linstead. Everybody loves Linstead. If you don't love Linstead I don't know how you survive because let's be honest they're amazing and the way this season ended like um how are we gonna survive? <coughs> the way this season ended, like, how are we gonna survive this next three months? Around so many detectives, and unlike SVU, we have a lot of patrolmen in the show too. And I also love this show because it has Sophia Bush in it. They are perfect. I love them. So definitely watch that show if you haven't seen it. They are going on their third season in the thaw. They just finished season two right now. Okay, the last show I'm gonna be talking about is Chicago Fire. Love it. This is a show about firefighters, paramedics, and just your everyday people, I guess. I started watching it um, on and off this season because I just love the crossovers that they did with Chicago PD and I really fell in love with the characters and I just really liked the storylines and everything. It has everything you want and it's just amazing to see the stories that they pull off like with the fires and then everything and then you see how much of a family the show is. Also Chicago PD you'll see how everybody that works together is like a real family and then you get everything else that you want in a show. This show it's amazing. I love it and I can't wait until season 3 comes back because the way the show ended, like, what? Because we can see what happens with baby Dossie. So can I just say for Chicago for hello Dossie and hello, oh my god. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop fangirling now. I've been fangirling for the last few minutes. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know down below what are your favorite TV shows are, what your favorite products are, if there's anything you've been enjoying in this month of May. And I will see you in my next video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know down below. Bye.